Our top story this afternoon. The virus situation here in South Korea is looking dire with the number of deaths and critically ill patients hitting new highs. Meanwhile, authorities are increasing efforts to implement expanded measures to counter the crisis. Our Choi Min Jung starts us off. South Korea reported 3,938 new infections on Thursday, reaching very close to the 4,000 mark. Although it's a slight dip from Wednesday's peak, there were 39 deaths, the highest ever reported since the outbreak of the fourth wave. The number of critically ill patients also hit an all-time high at 612. Meanwhile, Seoul remains a virus hotspot. The capital confirmed a record-breaking 1,760 new cases. The daily average in the capital more than doubled from the 600 range to nearly 1,400 over a three-week period. In light of the surge, the Daily Recovery Committee for COVID-19 held its fourth meeting to assess the situation and decide on ways to strengthen antivirus measures. South Korea's Prime Minister pointed out that reversing the antivirus measures may be necessary, but a better support for the medical system must be in place. That being said, he emphasized the need to expand at-home treatment as the capital region's medical system is overwhelmed. Authorities are also planning on making vaccine passes valid for around six months after full vaccination due to concerns over waning immunity. There is also a likelihood that vaccine pass mandates will be expanded to include restaurants and cafes. As of now, the passes are not required for these locations. Another anticipated change is the expansion of vaccine passes for those younger than 18. With infections increasing among teenagers, places that are popular to students, such as singing rooms, may start to require them for younger people as well. The specific details of the plan are set to be fixed on Friday. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.